Hello everyone and welcome to episode 97 of ASA. I got five questions today so let's get started with Scott Days and he says, ASA, if you could pilot one Star Wars ship slash vehicle, which one would you choose? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. So a few years ago I did a review on the Lego AT-AT and I said that I would love to be able to drive an AT-AT. Just imagine like shooting everyone and stepping on people and just how fun that would be. In fact, do any of you remember, assuming any of you have ever seen the show Invader Zim, the episode where Zim is destroying his own planet. That would be me on Earth with an ATAT. -AT. <laughs> Next question is from CT Bricks and he says, what do you think about custom minifigures and then a bunch of potatoes? Thank you for the potatoes. To be completely honest with you, I'm just not a big fan of custom minifigures. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I don't think that like people should not get them, but I'm just not into them. They're not my cup of tea, if you will. I just prefer getting Lego from Lego. Now, yes, I know sometimes Lego does things that's kind of disappointing, like the helmet holes or something are not the prettiest or like the newest Stormtrooper design that we have right now is just just very ugly in my opinion but I still like getting Lego from Lego so I just want Lego to improve their minifigures so we can get the best from Lego. I said Lego like 6,000 times while answering that question. Next question is from TG Collects and he says ASA what is your dream Imperial set and then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. That is a fantastic question because I'm a big fan of the Empire so of course I want to see like anything and everything Imperial in Lego someday. I always like when we get Imperial sets in any wave. Not this one though that one's ugly. I hate you. But so a few episodes ago in ASA I talked about a new Gazanti would be like super cool to get but what I'm really gonna go for in this case is a new Star Destroyer playset. That would be really really cool. I want a Star Destroyer playset but I don't feel like shelling out 500 or more dollars on an old one so I'm like let's just get a new one with updated minifigures and all that and it could be really really cool. And then of course you can't go wrong with more Imperial battle packs right? Oh! I stand corrected. As long as they update the Stormtrooper helmet and they actually look good again, that would be amazing. Next question is from Plurpus. ASA, where did you get the red sign? What red sign? Where where do you see a red sign? I, I, I'm, I'm lost on this one. And our last question is also confusing my brain, but I'm going to read it anyways, and it's from Bowie Bricks. And he says, ASA, if Peter had seven potatoes and he ate three, how many brain cells does a cat have? Three! Take it or leave it! Okay. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, so there's my answer. Hopefully it's good. Take it or leave it. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your wonderful questions. If you have a question or two for the next episode, just leave it down below in the comments. And while you're down there, leave a like. Maybe subscribe if you're not. I haven't asked for that in a long time, so hey, yeah, do it, please. No. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch the video and ask questions, all that. You guys are amazing. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.